Hi everyone, my name is Kyle and I'm here with Makers Mercantile to share with you what was in the April 2022 knit box. So uh, as you know, most of the folks, uh, all the folks actually, who uh, subscribe to it already have received their um, red box for April. We're just going to open this up and take a peek and see uh, what was inside. So we begin every one of our boxes with a sort of a theme and uh, a little pun or a joke or a riddle of some kind and this one was just too funny we um we thought it was funny anyway so here it is uh let us let us so it's all puns plays on words let us come together to celery braid veggies with some puns that can't be beat so there's the whoops there it is let us come together to celery braid veggies with some puns that can't be beat and then on the inside let's see if i can do it like this nope can't do it like that <laughs> if you care it all about vegetables you might find these puns to be salad gold salad gold <laughs> we'd say more but there isn't mushroom sorry to pepper you with such corny puns please forgive us <laughs> So obviously it's something to do with vegetables or plants or something, right? And it is. So uh, this month's um, so, uh, project, the Knit Box project, is a market bag. So it's the Maker's Market Bag, which is made out of Whidbey. So here's the project. Um, super wonderful, substantial uh, project bag. So, but what's inside the box? So well, there's another little note in here and it says plant this paper and I won't go into all of the details about it but it essentially is um, there's a little bit of information and we printed just on the bottom half here in case people wanted to just take a portion of the paper and try planting it but the entire piece of paper is embedded with um, flower seeds it's made in Nepal and um, it has 10 annuals and perennials uh, seeds embedded into it so if you hold this up to the light, mm, there's no light behind me, but you're able to see it. It's just kind of a fun thing to, to encourage uh, you to check that out. Other ways to recycle and whatever. Um, we also have a little, uh, a little sucker, a little heart-shaped world, because we are caring about Earth Day. You saw the little, the little ball of yarn slash earth. And uh, inside here as well, we have a um, reusable vegetable bag. That's our little treat for you. So these little vegetable bags um, can be used instead of the plastic ones we use at our grocery stores, which is pretty cool. And then inside here, there are, come out, three different cakes of Whidbey, which is 47% bamboo, 37% superwash merino, and 16% um, nylon. So here is uh, the colorway starfish. Then we have Puget, which is the blue. And then um, this uh, creamy color called driftwood. So one cake, one ball each of those. And then we also have a um, really cute little button that is made out of, um, out of shell. So a coconut, I believe, shell. Also inside here, of course, tissue paper. Um, there's a printed copy of the pattern with wonderful Hannah modeling our uh, pattern here. And this project is pretty simple. It um, starts down at the bottom. So you cast on a number of stitches and it's worked in the round. So you start at the bottom, work round and round and around um, in seed stitch. And then that just gets seamed up um, nice and securely, then continuing with a, um, a bit of a seed and then a bit of a um, mesh pattern, which uh, sort of swirls around. And then at the very top, it goes back to seed stitch. And um, we cleverly, I think, uh, built the handle in. And the other thing that I think is pretty cool about this is the handle is nice and wide. On the other side, so the handle, um, is knit from here. So you work back and forth and build the strap. And then it is sewn down 
uh, reinforced all the way around this section here, and then the button is just decorative. So that is the Maker's Market bag. Of course, you can make it out of other, um, other yarns as well. And we encourage people to um, make bags of some kind. I mean, it's kind of fun to show off your, your craftiness. Um, and you can use this uh, bag over and over to replace the disposable bags that we um, often get when we go to the market. So that is our April knit box. Um, we hope that you enjoy it and make a couple of these for yourself and for family and friends. Um, we have a, another fun <laughs> knit box coming up in just a few weeks. So if you did somehow miss out on this one, uh, be sure to go to our website, makersmercantile.com. Uh, type in subscriptions or you can or you can uh, type in the word knit box or um, you know just search around you'll find that you can sign up if there's room um, and once a month it will uh, will send you out a box full of inspiration and fun if at any time you want to cancel or pause you just send us an email or reach out to us and we are happy to do that for you we want to make it really easy for people to um, opt in and opt out of uh, the subscriptions as they want. So again, that is our April Knit Box. I want to say thank you again for hanging out with us, and we will see you in, uh, in May. Bye, everyone.